Actually, her first nap in her crib to be honest um, at around three months old she hit a really harsh sleep regression and it just made the most sense to have her sleep in bed with us um, so she's been contact sleeping contact napping um, for almost her entire life and about a month ago when she um, around when she turned one I transitioned her to sleep at night in her crib, which has been so, so wonderful. Um, don't get me wrong, you know, like sleeping in bed with her was so special, so special. And I'm sure we'll do it on occasion, but not having that physical space um, at night and like contorting my body uh, to make sure that she's safe and has her space um, and is sleeping well definitely took a toll on like my muscles and just you know wake up feeling sore but it was worth it uh, and with you know her eczema uh, it also just helped me monitor her um, you know when she'd wake up sometimes she'd want to start scratching and so I think that also played a big role in why she slept in the bed with us for so long. Um, and now she's 13 months. I'm transitioning her to napping in the crib um, instead of just my arm. 
uh, to, you know, I just kind of lay in bed with her, work or, you know, watch something, read or nap myself while she was in my arms nursing um, for like two to four to five hours a day. Um, so I'm looking forward to transitioning into this new chapter of her sleeping and yeah it's just crazy like how intertwined my world is with her as it should be you know i'm fortunate enough to work from home and to have a studio space here um to have access to decent internet which is like can be hard in vermont and um you know i try to find any time to work in my studio um, I wake up around like 5, 5.30 in the morning recently, like the past month I've started doing that since she's been sleeping in her crib to um, I wake up, make my coffee, light these candles um, and just work on art and I've made a lot of progress in just this month. Um, I've been a lot more active with my art career which is an amazing feeling. And then throughout the day when I'm able to work in the studio, um, my space also um, is gated off. And so it's also her kind of play pen. Um, she has a little kitchen and uh, lots of toys. And so finding the balance of like keeping my space organized and functional for my peace of mind and then keeping her space organized and functional for my peace of mind as well. Um, it's not a challenge, but it's just part of like my day to day, um, making sure this space is, is cleaned up. Um, and she's at the stage where like, sometimes I can work for like an hour while she just plays on her own. Like she's really a self-sufficient little play baby. Um, she keeps herself entertained and, um, you know, sometimes comes to me for attention or gratification or showing me something really cool, but other times she's totally in her own zone and so I can be in my own zone and get a lot of work done and that is such an exciting experience because, you know, when a baby's younger, they, they physically and emotionally need a lot more um, assistance and attention, especially before they can sit up and roll over and crawl and hold things. I mean, it is just a baby has, an infant, newborn has to have so much of your attention and uh, <laughs> it's a big learning curve, a big adjustment for me. And now that Luna's, you know, getting towards like toddler age uh yeah i just feel like i'm like in a groove with her but i'm sure that's gonna shift adjustments more adjustments will be made when she learns how to crawl i mean sorry not crawl how learns how to walk like she's crawling like crazy she's standing on her own i'm kind of like just like hovering there like whoa check this um, but she hasn't walked. She hasn't taken her first steps yet. And I have a feeling it's going to be soon. Um, and I have no idea what to expect. Um, but I do, I am anticipating, you know, I will become like a follower. I will be following her around everywhere she goes. And it's going to be really exciting. But also, I'm sure, have its own, you know, challenges. And... Um, Gosh, what a journey. But yeah, it feels, I just feel on its own. I'm working on another um, slurp is what I call them. Um, they have kind of like a fringe tongue, like, and I wonder like if people have ever made that connection between this type of sculpture that I make and the name, because yeah, I just think of like slurp. Um, I should, grab an example to show you what it looks like if you don't know. This is one of the more recent slurps that I've made. Um, and 
yeah, I'm working on a purple one. I have a yellow one in the works and then a blue kind of turquoise, um, monochromatic green on green, purple on purple, yellow on yellow, and then blue on blue. And then once I finish these four sculptures, I will move on to another series. Um, they're backed in wood, really easy to hang, signed by me. Um, and so, yeah, here, I'll show you the yellow one. The yellow one does not have um, the center yet, but so this is kind of um, going from felt strips to snipped. Um, and then I spiral them out and I attach them like this. It looks like I've tufted this, um, which is a technique that people use for like rug making and tapestry. And I don't have that machinery. And I also really like it being backed on wood. Um, so I've made my own method of getting this texture and I, I like the process a lot. Um, I will say it's a lot on my hands. So I do try to every like half hour take a break and stretch um, just to help the longevity of my joints. Um, and then once I'm done with these four, they're actually not going to be one of a kind. You can order these, um, more than one person can purchase this. So as soon as one is sold, I will then make another. Uh, anyways, once I finish these first four, I will um, then move on to another set of sculptures that are mini versions of these. These I call my Pachinois, um, which is uh, a type of cactus. So I don't know if to you these rep look like um, abstract versions of cacti, but that's where my inspiration lies. Um, and these two, and I have a pink one, uh, were the first of the series that I started years ago. And um, I've made varying sizes, varying colors. So I have some new color palettes I wanna play with. Um, and I'm gonna be making the smaller size I just have been in the mood for like petite sculptures. Um, maybe to some, like this is not petite, but compared to the original size of these slurps, it was around this size, maybe slightly bigger. Um, yeah, so, and I, I sell these on my web shop. Um, this green guy is already up. By the time I publish this, I have a feeling the yellow one, maybe even the, purple like mauve color will be up as well who knows the blue one i don't know um i have it tagged in my uh description my website and uh yeah it just feels good to get back into these series of sculptures um i do have plans for new techniques new creations um new material manipulation so that is on my agenda. And then I am, um, two years ago, I launched like a holiday special. It was many little versions of these patronoids as little decorative ornaments. And they were so successful and I was really nervous about it. Um, they were super petite and um, I sold a lot of them. And what was so wonderful is um, they're not necessarily meant for like a Christmas tree. It's not specific to one ho holiday. Um, and a lot of people told me that they, after the season, like they just have them up on their wall all year round as little decorations. And I love that. So last year I did try I started to make these and I was like, oh, I'm going to launch another, you know, ornament, um, an ornament launch or whatever. I'm getting caught up in my words. Um, and that was when I realized, oh, I can't do art and deadlines and, and produce as much as I normally would with a newborn. At that point, Luna was just a few months old. She was hitting her sleep regression. Her eczema was like starting to get so bad. And I was like, halt, stop, breathe, and just focus on your baby. Um, 
and I told myself I'd try the ornaments next year and so I am like getting far ahead of myself. I have the supplies, I have the ideas, the colors and I'm going to start this actually next month and I'm going to start in October. So I'm all ready to launch in November. Um, and what is fun about this year, so the first year I did petite or mini patch and lace, and I'm going to do more mini patch and lace for the ornaments, but I'm also going to do mini slurps. And I think it's going to be really fun and kind of easy little process to make them. They're going to be so small and cute. Um, so I will like share announce when that launches probably i mean definitely on instagram and facebook um but i will try to share on here and link to them if you're interested in buying them um you know any support is so appreciated anyways i've talked way more than i anticipated um it's nice that luna's just soundly sleeping in her nursery but i'm going to get into this, put on some music, and just kind of zone out um, with this delicious bamboo felt that I have. So, yeah, bye.